ignorant mind and desire to exhibit ignorant mind always have a deep yearning to exhibit the desire to exhibit the desire to exhibit and show is the desire of the ignorant mind why do you want to exhibit why do you want people to know you what is the cause of it and why do you make it so significant in your life that people should think that you are somebody very significant important and extraordinary why it is so because you do not have a self you have not discovered your own being you have only a ego and ego is the substitute for the self the moment you discover yourself there is no need to exhibit there is no need for you to make any effort for people to know you that you are very significant important and extraordinary ego is not substantial it is false it gives you the impression that something is instead of ego self is substantial that is not known to you indeed a man cannot live without the feeling of i it is difficult to live without this feeling of i then from what center will you function you need an i and even if it is false it will help you without an i you simply disintegrate who will be the integrator the agent within you who will integrate you from what center will you function unless you know the self you will have to live with an ego ego means a substitute self a false one you do not know the self so you create a self of your own it is a mental creation and for anything that is false you have to make supports exhibition gives you support if somebody says you are a beautiful person you start feeling good and you start thinking that you are beautiful if nobody says so it is difficult for you to feel that you are beautiful and you will start suspecting if you even say to an ugly person continuously you are beautiful the ugliness will drop from his mind he will start feeling he is beautiful because the mind depends on the opinion of others mind goes on accumulating opinions and depends on them ego depends on what people say about you ego feels good if you if people feel good about you and say good things about you and if they feel bad the ego feels hurt if others do not give you any attention the supports are withdrawn if many people give you attention they feed your ego that is why so much attention is asked for continuously mind continues to seek attention every moment even a small child asks for attention and he demands he goes on playing silently but a guest comes and the mother has said to the child that when the guests come he has to be silent but when the guests comes the child has to do something because he also wants attention and it is that time the children do something in order to gain attention and he wants more because he is accumulating an ego just growing he needs more food and he has been told to keep silent 
Silence is impossible. He will have to do something. Even if he has to harm himself, he will fall. Harm can be tolerated, but attention must be paid to him. Everybody must pay attention. He must become center of attention. From childhood to the ultimate day of your death, you are asking for attention. When a person is dying, the only idea that is there in his mind, what will people say when I am dead? How many people will come to give me the last goodbye? Is any newspaper going to write an editorial? These are the thoughts from the very beginning to the last. We look at what others say. It must be a deep need. Attention is the food of ego. Only in a person who has attained to self, the need for attention vanishes. When you have a center, you need not ask for the attention from others. Then you can live alone. Even in the crowd, you will be alone. You will move in the crowd, but all alone. Right now you cannot be alone. If you are alone, you are restless. You turn on TV, flip over the channels to see if there is something interesting, but deep down there is loneliness. You are feeling restless. You pick up the phone to call to someone, that person not there. You call another one, that too is not there. You go out, do this, do that, because there is tremendous restlessness. Right now you cannot be alone. Right now, if you go to Himalayas or move into a dense forest, sitting under a tree, you will wait for somebody to pass by, at least somebody who can carry the message to the world that you have become a great hermit. When people build the temples in their houses, they do not build inside because according to their own Understanding, in the temple you should not enter when eating meat. But what about the blood that is made out of the meat that you have eaten? So they do not build the temple at the backyard, back of the house. Instead they build in front. So when the passers-by see it, Oh, this person have a nice temple. This inflates the ego. I understand that you cannot build a tem temple or a place of worship inside the house. Bake it at the back of the house. And you remember you whether you built in the front or the back that is merely for the show and you are not doing the you are not going in the middle of the night outside to attend to do your meditation or prayers. You will wait and open your eyes as many times to see if somebody has come or not. Because you have heard the stories that when somebody renounces the world, the whole world comes to his feet and up to now nobody has reached. No newspaper man, no reporter, no cameraman, nobody. You cannot go to the Himalayas, when the need for attention drops, you need not go anywhere. Wherever you are, that is where your temple is, that is where the Himalayas is, that is where the forest is. 